This technique serves as a foundational method for experiments designed to assay the embryonic or larval development of the cricket. The main advantage of this technique is that it is flexible and will support several types of experimental approaches, such as those utilizing RNA interference or genomic manipulation. Demonstrating the procedure will be Hadley Wilson Horch, the principal investigator in the laboratory. To begin this procedure, wet the spinning grinder plane of the beveler with dripping water. Place the pulled needle into the beveler and turn it to a 20 degree angle. Lower the needle until it just touches the grinding plate and bevel it for 2 to 3 minutes. Assess the bevel by placing the beveled needle on double stick tape that has been adhered to a glass microscope slide. Place the slide on the stage of a compound microscope equipped with a camera and image acquisition software. Acquire an image of the needle using a 20x objective. Use the imaging software to measure the interior lumen diameter of the needle just proximal to the beveled opening. Discard any needles with an opening smaller than 8 micrometers or larger than 12 micrometers. First, make 40 milliliters of 1% agarose in water and pour it into a 10 centimeter petri dish. Place an eggwell stamp on the surface of the agarose before it solidifies. Once the agarose is solidified, remove the stamp to reveal the wells. Next, fill the agarose well plate with HBS containing 1% penicillin streptomycin. Place the lid on the dish, wrap it in parafilm, and store it at 40.